Welding yesterday. Welding today. Vermeer in Pella, Iowa has 4,500 obsolete fixtures stored outside, which have been replaced by two modular fixturing packages. Bluco Corporation presents the Demler 3D clamping system. This modular system is not only the state of welding today, but for the future as well. The reasons for this are increased throughput, reduced cost, increased quality, and enhanced safety. The Demler modular fixturing system is ideal for short runs and prototypes. The system greatly decreases setup time. In 12 minutes, this becomes this. And faster setup means the faster finished product goes out the door. In fact, the system can double production. Dave Schneider, engineering manager of Great Bend Manufacturing Company says, in 1996, we bought our first Demular modular fixturing system from Bluco. We welded about 4,000 parts in the first year. Now we weld 65% of our line on this table. We can build parts twice as fast using the table as by hand. The system is not only faster but more accurate as well. Bore location of plus or minus one one thousandths is made possible by a system of precise geometric locations for stops, angles and clamps. And greater accuracy of course means a higher quality finished product. And the repeatability of your setup is assured. In addition, Bluco can help with the design of your fixturing layout by providing CAD files for all system components. Cost is reduced not only by shorter setup times, but by the need for fewer dedicated fixtures. The Demeter system offers unlimited adaptability, which is the greatest advantage of modular fixturing over dedicated fixtures. A closer look at this 3D clamping system reveals how these benefits are made possible. The key to the system is making setup as easy as possible. The heart of the Demler D28 system is the 3D welding table. The table is available in four sizes, 40 inches by 40 inches, 40 inches by 80 inches, 4 feet by 8 feet, and 5 feet by 10 feet. The tables are made of high quality, high tensile strength steel, welded and ribbed. legs are easily attached with a tapered locking screw. Uneven floors and height differences are compensated for with adjustable legs giving even greater stability. Adjusting screws with tilting pads are used to level the table. A shield to prevent cables from snagging is lowered after height adjustment. A system of grid bores and grid lines provide quick, accurate and repeatable setup. Side bores facilitate an even greater variety of setups. A scale is inscribed on the table surface for easy reference. The cornerstone of modular setups is the patented PC bolts. They are the connecting elements between the table and all other items such as angles, supports, stops, and spacer blocks. They are designed to be quick acting and yet deliver a high clamping force. An integral O-ring cleans the system bore, makes the bolt self-centering, and allows for one-hand operation by preventing the bolt from rotating during tightening and loosening. The knurled head is turned to tighten the PC bolt. This drives four balls out into the chamfer on the back side. The head has a double hex key in it for easier tightening. A simple pull on a hex wrench generates 6,000 pounds of clamping force. The tapered end allows three PC bolts to be used in a corner without interference. The PC bolt can be tightened without moving the part it is holding. The standard PC bolt holds two elements together. The long PC bolt holds three. The low profile PC bolts have a tapered head eliminating interference points. Once again, the key is simple, quick setup. The system includes a variety of clamps, which are all designed for quick use and can be engaged with a single hand. Compensating swing clamps are fast and easy to use. 
When the clamping handle is turned, the force causes the tube to bend back, locking it in the bore. As the tube bends backwards, a spring-loaded compensating mechanism in the arm extends, keeping the clamp lined up. The part doesn't move. Welded tube clamps are used where the area beyond the bore is clear. Adjustable tube clamps are used where there is interference beyond the bore. There are also horizontal swing clamps with a 90 degree orientation to the bore. By rotating the offset head, the reach of this clamp covers a wider range, as well as a 45 degree swing clamp. Stop rings for setting the height of swing clamps fit all clamping tubes. Clamping tubes fit all system bores and are offered in various lengths. Two clamping tubes can be connected by use of an extension sleeve. The standard steel clamping pads can be removed and replaced with stainless steel or nylon. Clamping bridges provide multiple simultaneous clamping points and can be used in difficult to reach places. They can also clamp on even surfaces with pivoting compensation. They are available with two clamping points or three. The rugged multi-clamping and spacer tower is ideal for three-dimensional fixturing. When combined with the compensating clamping arm, it will generate up to 4,000 pounds of clamping force. With the tube clamp, it is an infinitely adjustable locator. A PC bolt and universal stop are used to lock it in place. Bores in the tube clamp and the top of the clamping tower add to its versatility. Quick clamps offer fast clamping with lighter force and are ideal for production runs. They are available as a vertical toggle clamp or a horizontal toggle clamp. The toggle clamps come with an adapter that fits into any system bore. A rotating adapter is also available. Clamps and bolts work together with a variety of support elements, the most common of which are the clamping and locating angles. They can be fixed or infinitely adaptable. Small angles come in two sizes with slots on the bottoms and bores in the face. Larger angles made of rugged and durable steel castings are available in either right or left hand configurations and come in a variety of sizes. There is also a universal clamping and locating angle with a hydromechanical lock. A scale in the hub shows the angle in one degree increments. The angle swings from zero to 225 degrees. Other support elements include adapter plates, which allow for rapid and accurate mounting of pipe flanges. Support and fixturing frames offer many versatile combinations and can be used as a console or an extension. A corner module provides five-sided clamping and locating support. This diagonal table extension is lightweight but offers high stability. It can be used as a lightweight table extension, a conventional B-block, a corner locator, or even a very large V-block. A connection block can be used as a bridge between two clamping or locating angles and is ideal when space is tight. In addition, L-shaped spacer blocks offer four-sided extension and U-shaped spacer blocks offer five-sided extension. Universal stops serve as locators and as gauging bars used in setup. They also hold the toggle clamps, V-blocks, swing clamps, and adapters. The universal stop with a spring-loaded button is used as a low-profile clamp. Angles and other elements can be used to extend the table surface. Two or more tables can be joined together for larger parts. L and U-shaped spacer blocks can join tables where space between them is desired, or even when larger parts are to be fixtured. To make sure the joined surfaces are flat and square, Universal stops are securely bolted to each element before the joining PC bolts are tightened. The spacer set is a very versatile tool. Nine rings of varying thickness and the head of the post provide accurate spacing when used as a support. The rings can also function as spacers between components. For gauging, the universal stop can be moved in precise 25 millimeter increments.
zero, twenty five, fifty, seventy five, one hundred. Once in place, a combination of selected spacer set rings in front of the stop establishes a precise gauging dimension. A slotted locator like this angle is set against the new gauge point and is locked down. To create a parallel locator somewhere else on the table, simply move this gauging set to another pair of bores and repeat the process. For larger dimensions, higher stability, and even greater possibilities, stop bars and flat angles are available. For tubes and pipes, V-blocks are available in four sizes. The posts on the three larger sizes fit into any system bore. O-rings help to hold the V-blocks in place. An adjustable spacer is used with the V-blocks to accurately set a pipe center line. An indexable bushing can be used as a fixed locator or as a pivoting support for freeform surfaces. The system also has a variety of accessories such as a transport ring for fast and safe transport of heavy components including the table, a ball end hex wrench. A ground connector can be expanded into any bore providing full ground contact and a quick disconnect, and an accessory cart with places for clamps, bolts, and stops on the face and top and fixed positions at the rear for larger angles and support elements. A wire brush helps clean out system bores. To minimize the impact that spatter will have on the table, we recommend using an anti-spatter compound like WellClean 350. When spatter occurs or to flatten out accidental dings in the table, use a bench stone. For broader fields, use an orbital sander and a light oil. Never a disc grinder. This will help maintain the system accuracy and will extend table life. The elements of the D16 system, while smaller in size, provide the same features and benefits as a larger D28 system. This wide variety of modular fixturing components makes possible a wide variety of applications, such as Great Bend Manufacturing mentioned earlier. They produce aftermarket lift arms for a large number of tractor types. Their demolar systems are used to manufacture mounting brackets in short runs. They have combined standard demolar hardware for the basic structure of the fixture with a few special adapter plates to speed the changeover from one part to another. They have also made their own setup disc to quickly locate the system components. Miller manufactures a large number of sheet metal fabrications. The control cab for a vertical tower crane is set up on a demolar table using U-form blocks and spacer sets to maintain squareness. One Blueco customer provides high-class custom counters for upscale retail stores. The stainless steel framework is TIG welded. Because the welding is critical and tiring, the demolar table is mounted to a hydraulic scissor lift table. The welder does all of his work sitting down. L-form blocks are mounted to the sides of the table to stretch the capacity while allowing easy access for the welder. Another manufacturer supplies steel doors for prisons. Frames were welded on T-slotted tables with inconsistent results. Door frames are now being set up twice as fast on the demolar tables. The modular fixture allows the parts to be checked first. Those that don't fit the fixture can be reworked before welding. A stop bar on the face of the angle gauges the hinge cutout. The results increase production and improve quality. For larger parts like this 40-foot overhead crane, Demolar offers a floor-mounted rail system. Tables are simply plugged in anywhere along the rails as needed. Robots are an excellent candidate for modular fixturing. Grove, manufacturer of large truck-mounted cranes, uses a man-robot cell to weld parts of their hydraulic cylinders. The man tack welds the part on a standalone table while the robot finish welds using a subplate mounted to its positioner. Demolar tables can be mounted to a rotary pallet changer in front of a robot, or they can be mounted as floor plates in front of even larger robots. These applications attest to the adaptability of the Demolar modular fixturing system. 
Whatever the application, the benefits are universal. With the Demeter system, you will weld faster, more accurately, and at a lower cost. It is the way to weld today and into the future.